Hi and welcome. Now virtual copies are so useful in trying out different treatments on an image that you have in Lightroom. Once you find something that works, you add other information to it, export it and move on. This means that the image you really need is the virtual copy because it has all the edits and the metadata and the original image is the one that's really surplus to requirements and you could delete it. However, you can't delete the original image as it would delete the virtual copy as well. So how can we get rid of that pesky original and keep the virtual copy? OK, well, let's dig in and find out. My name's Ken Fisher and this is Live Link Training. And don't forget, if this is your first time with Live Link Training, please visit my website. And if you scoot to the bottom of any page, just give this link a click here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be really helpful. Thank you very much. Let's get on. OK, let's take a look at a typical workflow. If we start with an image and we'd like to test out a treatment on it. So we can create a virtual copy. And we can do this by going to the photo menu and coming down to create virtual copy. Or we have a keyboard shortcut, which is control and apostrophe. Or if you're on a Mac, command and apostrophe. I'm just going to click that just for this time. And we end up with a virtual copy. And if you look down at this bottom corner, you can see that it's got a little page turn on it, a little triangle bit. It's like the, the corner's been turned over. And this is now the virtual copy. So I can now try things out on this. So let's try a few edits. So I'll, I'll pull the highlights down a little bit to bring that sky back. Uh, let's lift the shadows a little bit so we can see underneath the bridge. Maybe a little bit of clarity just to crispen it up a little bit. I think that's OK. And then what we might do is go to the library module. And let's have a look at keywords. So, well, on this one, we've, we've I already put in Humber Bridge, Sky and Summer. I think that works. That's OK. And we might add another one. Let's add uh, Blue and let's say Perspective. So we've now got some keywords. And if I wanted, I could say, OK, well, let's give it a star rating. I'll give it a four star rating. I think it's not bad, not a bad image. So you can see by the badges down here now, we've actually added things to the image. So now we've got a virtual copy, which is absolutely perfect for us. So what do we do next in this workflow? Well, we normally would export it and then we'd quickly move on to the next project. OK, well, we've done this a few times with a lot of images where the master copy is the one we're going to be deleting to tidy things up. But we can't because if we did, it would delete the virtual copy as well. So what's the solution? Well, the solution is to convert the virtual copy to the master copy. When we do this, you'll see that here, this one on the right is the virtual copy. This one on the left is the master copy. But if we now go up to photo, and set copy as master, you'll see it will swap them round. So now we've got this image, which is the, the copy that we've done the work on and done the edits on um, as the master copy. And the other one, the first one is the actual virtual copy. So now we could delete this virtual copy, remove it from the collection or delete it from the catalogue. And there we have it. How to tidy things up in Lightroom by promoting a virtual copy to a master copy. I hope that was useful. I'll see you in the very next video. Bye for now.